Hey there folks, my name is Deja and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. We're gonna go right again, and we're gonna try and get back this to the was phone call. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yes, I did. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, nah, I'm just good. to admire it. No, let's go. Let's keep moving. Ah, uh, yes. Sublime. A work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? That's its different. Grace, its subtle charm. No. Stanley knew... It was something deeper, something darker. That that was different. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right, so we're going to go back in here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yep. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the blah, fact blah, blah, is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Rightly so. You've been neglecting Stan. No, I'm the most important someone person in the room. About. No. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm good. I'm like not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Ooh. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, the fun. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. No! Not doing it. <sighs> Can't go through the door again. Do, 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 do. Nope. No, I'm not answering it. How long do I have to wait? As Stanley picked oh! up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Ha! <laughs> Stanley, I unplugged the, unplugged the phone. phone. Yes! No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? <laughs> you actually chose yeah. incorrectly. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah! Let me double check. Oh, that's brilliant! Uh, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. No. As it comes in, fade to white, roll credits. No. Nope. Picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? Yeah. Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? Uh-oh. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Hi! I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. Exactly. I think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. <laughs> Please observe this helpful instructional video. All right, let's see. Choice. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. Okay. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. True. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Okay. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world <laughs> nations. Or he could systematically <laughs> set fire to every <laughs> orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? So Remember, in one situation, here, he's the giving the kid a cigarette. And then the other one, he's burning him. make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking to a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that Punch person them. is not real. Allow <laughs> the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, 
My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. My goodness, is it 4.30 already? <laughs> I've back sack and... What? What? Excellent. Making choices sure. on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Yeah. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. Ah, Whoa! Well, I noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. All right. Guess I'm going back now. Can I go up here? No. Of course not. All right. Whoa. It's got now safety stuff. Your choices are meaningful. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main <laughs> character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That's Oh, not that's something we should try. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Well, reality kind of sucks, so I can understand. All right, well, we'll get back here and see what happens. All right, nope, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right. Almost there, you'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Sure. We'll see about that. Okay. All right. Still going. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Okay, all right, all right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! <laughs> Hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. That's so funny! Oh, look at that! Oh, that was funny! Oh, no, don't tell- <laughs> Yes! After everything we talked about that you- My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? My work. What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? <laughs> so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut you the okay, game down dude? entirely? To willingly destroy all Gert. of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I just, just, just do it, man. No, Let's just do it. We have to. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Dude. Darn. What the... Okay. Pile of rubbish with okay. You, hey. You, hey. Who thought he was so clever? Hey. Now look where we are. My entire what? game is destroyed. <laughs> it was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. Yeah. Oh, did you think that would be funny? Yes. You just had to see. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? 
He actually wow. knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. No, we're that good. thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? We're good. That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh. My story. Well, if you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Yeah. It been so perfect. No. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. This behave exactly as Stanley would. That what means the? choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, let's try it again. See what happens. Is it just the same thing? No. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. His behavior. <laughs> Stanley would. That means God damn it. responsibly and always putting the. Let's see how many times. I, let's see if like if I do this numerous times, if something just happens. Just my lead, and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he, he entered opened the, the door, door on the right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! <laughs> His behave exactly as all right, Stanley. all right. We'll go that through the left one. Responsibly and always putting the story first. All right, come I'm on. I'm sure you'll be up to the task. Just all right, let's do it. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set to, of two, two open doors. doors he, he entered, entered the, the door, door on his left. left. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll be good. Everything's fine. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I can't go through the broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's oh, office. Oh, it's different. It's different. Oh, let's see what happens now. I'm curious. Oh. That's locked now. Okay. What? Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Until he saw what is the with this image? With a voice receiver next to it. Yeah. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? Maybe? There was only one way to find out. Let's find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. <sighs> Night shark? Wait, what was it? What was the code? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Night shark 115? I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? No, Please I said it! code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark, one, one, five. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know I... what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it I means said to it. story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, what? he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? <laughs> Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. The end! I need you to walk through the door. I Thank you for playing the Stanley Parable. Can you hear me? Is everything alright? 
Credits. <laughs> the story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I think you need to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is great. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. Made in source by Valve. Time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. I had a feeling this was running in source, because it does still feel like Half Life. What's the right thing to do? Take as much time as you need. Hey! All right then! <laughs> Okay, so that's that's another ending for the Stanley Parable. Um, I don't know how many more of these there are, but uh, tune in next time and I'll see what else I can find. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys are what make this channel happen and I appreciate and thank you for it very much. And I will catch you in the next one. Burn.